The atoms are hiding a demon behind that button nose and cuddly fur. Let me explain. It all starts with mating, and much like myself, sea otters like it rough, but they take it a little too far because sometimes it becomes lethal. It all starts when the male water puppy decides he wants to mate, and he does not ask, he grabs the female and forcefully bites her nose till it bleeds. And if trying to rip the button off her face jacket doesn't turn her on, he's got a second move, it's called drowning. Yeah, that's right, just like every creepy police report, he decides to drown her until she subdues. What's really sad is sometimes she doesn't, and you can imagine what happens afterwards. Hold up, though, the lady liquid rats aren't off the hook either, because sometimes they prostitute themselves for food. The smallest marine mammal on Earth and consuming about a quarter of its body weight in food daily, you can imagine sometimes food is hard to come by, so what does she do? She trades her body for it. And sometimes she's got a lot of freeloading offspring to feed, so you know, a mom's gotta do what a mom's gotta do, right? And you may be asking yourself, is that woman in the beginning of the video at risk? Well, maybe, because there's been 39 recorded attacks on humans from sea otters. But thank god they're just water rodents, right? They can't really hurt us. Well, no, you're wrong. The Amazon holds plenty of fuck nose, one of which is the giant river otter, and they've grown up to 6 feet and 75 pounds. You can argue that otters are actually kinda nice, they do sometimes hold hands while sleeping, and they also have pouches under their armpits which they save their favorite rocks in, but I still don't think that I'd go near them. Especially being that they could be super spreaders of the influenza virus. That's all I got. Peace.